Hello, my lovely, lovely Virgo, sun, moon, and rising. You all hold a very special place in my heart as I am a Virgo moon sign. So I completely understand the uh, Debbie Downer of it all <laughs> because we are always faced with overanalyzing the situation and trying to be practical. Um, but we are an incredibly hardworking, hardworking sign. Okay. Um, so before, I just want to kind of mention before I even got it started pulling out cards to you all, I had the page of wands show up and the nine of wands show up. So we all know page of wands, you know, it's, um, exciting messages coming your way. And Knight of Wands is about being that wounded warrior, but being dedicated up until the end because you have put in too much time and energy and focus. And let me tell you, the dedication is going to be worth it with these cards that came out, dear Virgos. Um, so the first card that I have is that Seven of Pentacles. A seven of pinnacles talking about um, all those seeds that you planted, that you uh, um, did down here um, in the 3D world, um, and you're just kind of waiting for them to kind of come to fruition um, and and see what the long term is going to be, okay? Um, and like I said before, you know, Virgo was very hardworking. So you'd be doing your hard work over there with that seven of pinnacles. And what shows up next is that two of wands. And this is, you know, seeing the possibilities of a person who may be at a distance from you and holding that faith and love, um, and belief that, you know, you're going to have that expansion, that union show up in your world that it's going to manifest for you. Um, but we do kind of have some blockages here when it comes to this four of cups. Okay. So these four of cups is a very stubborn energy as we know that four is the number of stability. Um, but this is of course in an emotional space and here I feel though that you're not refusing, um, this, uh, ace of cups love the divine is offering i feel more so that your focus is so on these other three cups that you cannot see the ace of love that is being presented to you okay or that you want to give to somebody else but i really feel this is more you my dear virgos because again that in a little cold space that we have uh, in our head and trying to sort out all the details um, is our inability to, you know, see this Ace of Cup, uh, this Ace of Cup, this uh, uh, Ace of Cups um, th uh, that's love and that's emotional fulfillment that the divine is offering us as a choice to take. And who is um, that Ace of Cups in relation to? This is Queen of Wands. Now, um, this can also, just because it's a queen, it's sexless energy. It does not mean that it can't be a man who's taking on these energies as well. And with the Queen of Wands, we're talking about somebody who, you know, tracks um, suitors. They're very popular. They're very um, good looking and everything else like that. But the thing that people don't realize is that they want something that's not surfacey. They want to have a real connection with somebody. Um, and you being a Virgo, you can definitely offer that to them because, you know, Virgos, uh, we are the earth energy, we're grounded, um, and sometimes a little too grounded. And so this fire energy can just kind of come in and whip up our whole entire world. You know, fire signs also tend to lean more toward the extroversion and they, you know, are a little bit more impulsive and willing to kind of go out and be, um, and, and are popular as well. And so that's generally not what a Virgo is doing, you know the card that shows up when people see the Virgos is that that hermit card that going deep within and having that introspection there's nobody else around us um 
And we don't mind that at all. <laughs> um, so this person can bring you out of your um, introversion and introduce you to a whole new world, a whole new perspective. And you, on, you know, on the other hand, will do the same thing for them. You will be able to kind of slow them down give them, you know, some peace and that stillness that you have and enlighten them, you know, give them different perspective on things that will, you know, as a fire sign, allow them to be able to go higher and be able, because they'll have a solid foundation underneath their feet with you, dear Virgos, okay? And the final card that we have here is the sun card. Now, this is the happiest card of all because this, again, denotes stability, this denotes purity, joy, the divine guiding you, being um, uh, connected in this um, connection that you have with your twin and your soulmate. So if you had any question, any doubt um, as to whether you were actually connecting um, with this person, if that was real, the sun card is, yes, this is real. Um, there is no um, underlying murkiness. They are not going to come in and try to, you know, um, give you, they don't have any agenda when they come in to you is what I'm, is what I'm trying to say. I'm sorry. Um, they will just love you from a very, very pure place. And it will be so pure that you'll forget to put up your walls. Um, and then the next thing you know, you'll be in love. You know, you won't be overanalyzing the situation. Um, you'll just be open to receiving, you know, their love and their affection. Um, okay. So, uh, really, really great cards. I did pull some Doreen Virtue cards for you, my dear, um, uh, Virgos. And I, the first card I have is forgiving and learning. As you lease and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moments. I got a feel that this is what's relating to that four of cups over here. This is causing that emotional um, energy and it's very stable. So, um, you know, in it is that the forgetting, forgiving and loving. You're really in this place of being able to kind of... Um, you're looking back at the past and trying to, to see, you know, where kind of everything went wrong. Again, see that analyzing, <laughs> dear Virgos, um, so that you can move on, um, you know, move forward in your love life. But the thing is that you don't realize is that there's that cup of love being offered to you. And But as you heal, you'll be able to turn around and gain a different perspective and see that cup of love. The sun also brings with it um, enlightenment to it. So you'll be able to understand what happened in these three other cups and to be able to see, again, the sun giving you light um, to this ace of cups um, and giving you healing and appreciation. Okay, and you'll be able to experience more love in your present moment. Um, the sun is also a soulmate card, and the reason why I'm bringing that up is soulmate. Yes, this is your soulmate. And then I say before, if you had any kind of question, um, and you want a validation as to whether the person that you are connecting with is your soulmate, here is your validation. You actually have double validation so i think we needed it as virgos that we had double validation that this person that we are connecting with um is truly truly um their soulmate especially considering that they may be at a distance um there with that two of wands um i don't normally ordinary read directly from the uh, guidebook but i'm gonna do it for you guys okay and so let's look at the soulmate um you chose this card because you wonder if a certain person is your soulmate and the answer is yes uh as we all do you may have soulmates beings with you whom you share a mystic soul connection and life path soulmates incarnate with the plan of coming together for mutual spiritual and personal growth as you suspected, the person you're inquiring about 
is one of yours. That sense of familiarity and comfort you felt when you first met also indicates your soulmate bond. This card sometimes comes to those who ask, when will I meet my soulmate? Or will I ever meet my soulmate? As validation that this will occur. Many times, this is a person whom you already know, and although romantic sparks didn't fly at first, we have another opportunity to explore passion together. So see, over there with that two of wands, will I ever meet them? Will they ever manifest? Will it ever come into being? Because I've been doing so much work with that seven of pentacles, you know? Um, you put down in the seeds, you told the universe what you wanted, and it showed up. But you're too focused on the past um, and, you know, trying to heal from that kind of stuff that you don't see that the, the cup of love and what you've manifested is actually here for you. Um, so just kind of change your perspective and you'll be able to see it, um, you know, after you've done healing, uh, you'll be appreciated by your soulmate. So this is a wonderful, wonderful reading, guys. Um if it didn't resonate, of course, check out the other signs. If it did, please go ahead, like, share, and subscribe to the channel. Um, also, be on the lookout for your companion video. Those are the love meditations where I pull an oracle card from the universe has gotten your back in order to address um, any fears or blockages that might have come up in this reading so we can, you know, understand them and move past them, okay? So do be on the lookout for... The love meditation um, video as well, okay? I really do appreciate you guys checking out my videos. And I'm so very happy for you, my dear Virgos, okay? Much light and love and blessings to you, okay? Bye!